So welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll talk about uh, how to convert a string. So basically what this conversion is, we'll be having a string which will be only having some numbers. And with those numbers, I'll be having some special characters like maybe uh, uh, maybe alphabet or uh, special characters. So what my motto is, I want to remove all those characters and I only want numbers. So let's say you have a mobile number as 9 uh, maybe 976, 76, something that way and somewhere between you have a character A so I want to remove that character A so so in this video we'll see how to convert a string which is let's say it is something in this way or uh, maybe something in this way and we need the final output as 9876867 so this is what we need as output okay but to understand this we have to first learn a concept called as string buffer and then we will do we'll be doing this in two parts of the video one so for the first part will be to understand what is string buffer and the second part will be the actual conversion okay so let's start with a code so we have a main method here so basically what is string buffer is now if let's say if it, if you have a string and let's say the string is uh, hello now somewhere in your uh, you know, in your heap memory, you'll be having a, a object called as hello, right? But if the problem is, uh, or the funder of Java says, there is something called a string pool. So whenever you create a variable, a string variable or string object in Java, it will use that string pool. So when you have this hello, it will get into that string pool. And now if I say str equal to str uh, plus uh, world, now what I'm doing is I just when I try to print the output of str or the value of str so the output will be hello world right so let me say run and yeah so we are, here we go we are, we are getting the output as hello world so is it we are assigning a value hello to str and then we are changing the same str object to hello world and the answer is no by default, your string are, strings are immutable. Now, what is immutable means? Uh, it means when you assign to a value to an object or a reference, the value will be same. In case if you want to change it, it will create a new variable and it will assign. So in this scenario, if you are thinking that str is the old variable you are working with, the answer is no. Okay, it, it's going for the new reference. So in the string pool, you'll be having two objects now one will have hello as it is and the second object will have hello world so the first object will have so it is immutable but the first object will have hello and the second object will have hello world clear so that's why this string is called as immutable you, once assigning a value to an object you cannot change the same object we have to create a new object that means this is still a new object here but then question arises: i want to change the value of string how to do it for that, we have a concept called as string buffer. So what is string buffer? It's a, again a, a class in Java which allows you to edit the text or to change the value. Okay, so by default string is immutable and string buffer is mutable. Clear? And how to use string buffer is simple. You can say uh, string buffer sb equal to new string buffer and we can create the object we can pass the initial value of str so let's say i don't want to assign hello world here i have a string str which is hello so by default in this sb will be having hello okay and now we can simply use some methods of sb now since string buffer is mutable it, it has lots of methods to work with so let's say you want to append the value so you can use append uh, you can also delete values from string buffer. So for deleting, we have a method called as delete char at. So it will delete that particular character. And then we can also delete the whole, the, what you said, the substring from a string using delete method. And we have uh, lots of methods to work with. Okay, so this is how your, so let's, let's, uh, let's try to append some value. So let's say the value is world. So when I append it, and instead of printing str, let me print sb and run so you can see this is hello world and this is not a new object now this is the same object because string buffer is mutable so we have two we have string buffer and we have string builder so if you go to string buffer uh, it has yeah, so lots of things here 
So to understand this, you can read the whole document. So it was updated in 5, launched in the first version. Okay, yeah. So string buffer. So yeah, this is your string buffer. And we also have a class called a string builder. So you can either use string buffer or you can have string builder. The only difference is one is uh, one is thread safe and one is not. Okay, so it's depend upon your requirement which you want to go for. So if you go to string builder, and again it has lots of theory, so you can you know just refer this uh, later. So so the point to remember here is. Uh, string is immutable by default and string buffer and string builder they are mutable so the code we have here to convert a string which has numbers and characters and we want only numbers so we have to use either string buffer or string builder so in the next part we'll be doing this code with the help of string builder so thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos